between the ages of 20 and 25, we kiss a lot of the wrong people. Fuck boys that don't call you back no matter what you do. Poets that know just how to sext you. And ex-boyfriends that have a tendency to pop right back into your life when you're looking for past mistakes to go back to. But between the ages of 20 and 25, if we're lucky, sometimes we kiss the right people in the middle of bowling alleys on first dates and they taste like old monk in danger and the blood rushing from your brain to the ends of your fingers and you don't care about anything other than kissing the fuck back. Well, at least that's how it started with us. You were one of the right people. Once I had you in place, all the other messy pieces of my life started finding their space in the jigsaw puzzle. Don't get me wrong, this is not a love poem. This is a letting you go poem. This is a wish I didn't have to poem. This is an it doesn't have to be this way poem. This is a comeback poem. This is a cry for help from my OCD to the main piece in my jigsaw puzzle who moved to another city and left me hunting desperately under sofa cushions for something, anything that would fill the big gaping hole in the middle of the riddle that is my life. I mean, I saw you brushing your teeth in boxers in my bathroom, man. I saw your confused sleepy head bobbing up and down in cabs on my life. I mean, I I smoked joints with you and we laughed our asses off until mine actually fell out of the chair and then we laughed some more about that. These are not images that one just skips past in the PowerPoint presentation. I mean, you saw me with my clothes off and for the first time, I didn't care if I looked pretty or sexy or hot because I knew I'd be loved despite it. And when you can make a woman feel like that, that's love. Look, the point is losing a boyfriend is one thing and losing a best friend is another, but I lost both. The point is there are still songs that feel like your teeth biting at my collarbone. The point is when I tell this story on girls night, my tongue unleashed under the burn and buzz of tequila, I call you Aloha boy. Because your hello was the same as your goodbye. A magnificent fucking mess. My best friend says that life is about falling for the wrong people until you find the right one. But I have a question. What if you find the right person and then you have to give them up? Does your heart continue to fall for other people or does it just stop? I know I tell you never to call me again and then I call you back. I know I tell you I'm going on dates with other boys, but two minutes before I have to leave the house, I call and tell them that something at work came up and chicken out. I buy cigarettes just so someone will snatch them out of my fingers as soon as they're lit and stomp them out. Remind me that my future babies won't be able to breathe inside me if my lungs aren't strong enough. I know you're going to Barcelona next month and all I can think about is European girls with big boobs getting you drunk and kissing you in bathrooms. All I can think about is getting on a plane and coming there and punching their tits out. I know I have mood swings and I call you terrible things and I annoy you with my questions. I'm not perfect, but neither were you. We were two messy kids in one balanced equation. Two messy kids and then they added distance. The crux of the matter is this is a goodbye poem. I was a little lost before you came into my life like fucking Google Maps and suddenly everything had direction but I think I'll find my way because of and despite you from now on. If you ever hear this poem, I want you to know that the wreckage was no one's fault, even if you blame yourself. I want you to know that you will always be a part of my jigsaw puzzle, but the only person it's incomplete without can't be you. It's got to be me. I'm the most important piece. There's probably no such thing as closure, but if there was, it would be a whole circle. And this poem is me making the first revolution. I normally never say this to ex-boyfriends because in my opinion you should spare them the extra ego boost but you were a glitch in the formula and so of course I broke all my rules for you. So thank you for handling the fragile package inside my ribcage with more care than anyone would ever be able to. I may look for other pieces to fill the second most important space but maybe 
the closest fit to perfect will always be you.